figure out Richie to a large extent, you know. <laughs> I mean, t on the one hand, he's part of a generation of players, uh, electric blues players, and um, has a lot of tradition. But uh, under, you know, Richie has this extra thing, which is he had this great musicianship. He had an ear for lots of music, classics and jazz, and he could really pull it off. Um, he was, he played with economy, uh, which wasn't necessarily what everyone was doing at the time, uh, which was great. And then, but he had a, a, you know, he had this theatrical flair about him. He had an odd way of, of performing uh, that was both mis uh, mysterious and at the same time extroverted, which was perfect for the time, you know. The first time I'd heard him, I was thinking, it's so clean, it's so precise. And, and um, it's not that it's physically difficult to do that, it's just, unique that someone would make that choice to play that way in that situation. And uh, he's always been that way. He's always been a very precise player with a unique voice. And you can always tell that it's Richie playing because his personality seems to come right through his fingertips. Um, that in itself, let's say if you're a young player, should tell you a lot. Like that's the kind of person you should follow. Someone who knows how to get their personality directly onto the guitar without much fuss, you know. Uh, he's to be admired for many things, but above all that, I think.